What's going on guys and welcome back to the review. So gotta be really really quick There is no forfeit in this particular video There is a challenge and there is players to be one But I'm not doing a forfeit I still have the ice bath challenge too And I still also have the gross smoothie challenge Which I am going to try and push for If this video gets 2,000 likes though I will for sure have it up tomorrow I will do everything I can That'll be my motivation uh, I just want to say thank you guys I hope everyone had a great Christmas This is going to be a super fun video uh, There's some really cool challenges There's a cool in-game challenge And there's a player that I'm really really excited to get Plus some new additions on the team Anyways I hope you guys all enjoy You guys in this series have three jobs to make it function Your first job is to leave a comment The player that you want me to go get For the next episode now, the next part of that is you need to leave a challenge to correspond to it. So let's say you want me to get the 94 Carson Wentz. You need to give me a challenge that's difficult for me to attain him. So let's say it's like, for example, this video, your boy pizza told me that I'd have to get a blindfolded 50 yard touchdown. That's the first part of this whole challenge. The another thing, the second thing you need to comment, because there's actually three things you guys need to comment. Second thing is something that I have to do in game in order to get a bonus reward. This can be anything you guys think of, a kick return or something, that will give me an additional upgrade that I get to choose. The third thing is the forfeit. These ones I can't promise, they'll always be your guys' suggestions, but they'll definitely be helpful. Any forfeits you guys have will be potentially used in the next video, and this is what happens if I lose the game. But if I win the game and the video gets 2,500 likes, I'll do the forfeit anyway. So in case you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so. Hit subscribe, turn that little bell on the side, that'll make sure you're notified of all of my new videos. And I'm gonna be shouting out and showing on the screen three new subscribers every single video. The player we're going to be going for is the 91 overall Jalen Ramsey. The challenge to get him is I have to get a 99 yard triple option touchdown in less than 10 attempts. And the in game challenge is I have to hurdle a defender. Okay, so for the challenge, I have 10 attempts to get a 99 yard triple option. So, pretty much how this works, I'm going to be running it out of the Tennessee Titans playbook. I can either give to Derrick Henry and I, or I could keep. 10 attempts against a random defense. If we could do it, I thought the Titans would be one of the best teams in the league to attempt this challenge with there. If I would have got it to like DeMarco Murray, I would have been in good shape. But the Titans are awesome because they have Mariota, who if he keeps it and he kind of gets to the outside, he can be really deadly. I've been tapping L1 on both of those. I don't know what's happening. That is O for two now. This is a pretty like favorable defense, but I'm just gonna get tackled right off that. O for three. Yeah, okay, only seven more attempts to see if I can complete this with Mariota. Okay, he's gonna stay, throw it, and that is the worst. This challenge, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get Jalen Ramsey, boys. I really don't think I'm gonna be able to get Jalen Ramsey. Like, just looking at this defense, they're guarding everything. There's literally nothing I can do. That's like six attempts, all of which are like colossal failures. Like, I've never seen a worse start to a challenge, but I think DeMarco Murray just did it. Oh my gosh, we're getting Jalen Ramsey. We are getting Jalen Ramsey, and this was one of the funniest challenges ever, like before game challenges ever, because everything, that shouldn't have happened. I had like 17 attempts where it was just awful, and then all it takes is one random play where 33 and 41 both decide, hey, we're, or 93, my bad, and 41 both decide to bite. I just dish it off to DeMarco Murray. He goes all the way for a touchdown. Now I get to go add Jalen Ramsey. I finally get that number three corner, which is gonna be really, really helpful. And I'm gonna go back to the video, I gotta show you guys my team. Okay, so for 205, which is pretty expensive, for like a 91 overall player, we get Jalen Ramsey, and I have one confession to make. One little confession to make. So I promised at the beginning of this, if there ever was a Mariota card, I wouldn't go without it. That's why no one had commented I couldn't risk not having it. So I had to. Like, I literally had no choice. Our new starting quarterback is, like me being a diehard Titans fan, is going to be the 93 overall Snow Beast, Marcus Mariota. There's also a couple more changes. Um, only actually, I think there's only one more. So, Pouncey, all these guys, you guys remember from the pack, the opening, Larry Allen, Walter Jones, everybody. But on the defensive side of the ball, we now have this Terrell Suggs, which he's a 93 overall right outside linebacker. I got him from completing a set, so I had so many, like, things that I didn't really want to go sell that I decided to just complete the set for him to go get the Terrell Suggs. So now our right outside linebacker is even better. Um, Willie McGinnis, I might move him to this left outside because uh, having him as a backup really doesn't do anything for me. Let's go to the season because I want to show you guys. Wait, one second. I, should do, I need to edit this real quick. Okay, so here we go. Uh, you guys see the last game that I lost 16-29. I promise that won't happen again. That was one of the lowest points of my whole Madden career. Like, 
definitely top five so i'm not gonna let that happen again but let's go ahead and jump in to game number four of the season let's go get the w our team is looking solid like we've definitely made some huge improvements over the last few days here we go i'm doing my same kind of strategy that i do pretty much every single game plus i have some new weapons on this team now having terrell suggs and stuff uh but pretty much what i'm going to be doing nice throw that's a first play touchdown i am that's disgusting it's one of the worst i don't think i've ever allowed the in-game challenge should have been to allow a first play touchdown and i would have got another upgrade after the game holy that was a terrible start that was an absolute terrible like, what even how did i even let that happen like i'm trying to think of how like i was getting cocky he was just sitting back in the pocket it looked like he had no idea what he was doing and then he just throws an absolute dot okay cool man cool you're trying to make me lose back to back he's trying to make me lose back to back if i lose back to the back i don't even know what i'm gonna do with this series i will just say i've completely fallen off as a gamer and everything if i lose back to back in madden my what's supposed to be my best game count i don't think i've ever lost two videos in a row so we, we're gonna pick this up we're gonna have a good offensive drive because it is the debut for the marcus mariota card. find mariota and, so mariota and henry obviously look great in the color rush uniforms together that's gonna be a duo for the ages a lot of people ask me like yo why do you still have derrick henry well first of all he's a titan second of all in throughout this series he's been the most consistently amazing player throughout like he has just been absolutely studly so like there's no reason that i should get rid of him plus like having mariota like i think mariota if you guys really mentioned quarterbacks it's probably not going to happen mariota is going to be my everyday quarterback i love that dude 93 overall card he's going to be really really good i can tell that already uh he's got good stats like look at that throw that's a beautiful throw to blend across we're going to move the chain okay so because the end game is hurdling a defender uh i need to do screens and stuff like this to try and get people in the point where i can go and run because like winning the game is awesome obviously but getting like that extra upgrade will help me for so long on this team i'd love to be able to upgrade my right tackle uh and my defense on my defensive line got a lot better just due to the fact that i got like more athletes at the linebacker position so a lot of my linebackers are playing there now i'm gonna test mariota's legs out here a little bit and okay okay here you guys know what i say about seams i think this is a good seam situation get up in the pocket marcus just throw it to derrick henry try and get a couple yards out of that i had nobody open downfield whatsoever this guy's playing pretty good defense at this point which scares me i do feel pretty comfortable in the pocket with marcus and here i think i'm gonna try and hit this odell beckham jr card on a nice out route um but also over the middle fred bolitnikov hold on to the ball that is the 93 fred bolitnikov and mariota is absolutely threading the needle right now he is and that's exactly what he's here to do he's gonna be better than vic because he's right-handed vic I might, I might do like a quick sell vic and just commemorate his time on the team pretty soon because he was awesome for a long time don't think with mariota i will be using him anymore let's see get two guys inside there just give me some good blocks derrick henry get into the end zone but that's one yard line do we have we don't even have a first down so i have third down and one i've made these mistakes a million times before where it's just been like i've made stupid decisions on on like these type of situations and i just it it always backfires whatever i do delaney walker nice catch okay second down and 10 here i'm gonna try and shoot the gap no 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 that's tight end that's tight end ball all the way willie mcginnis great defense that's why you invest in good linebackers who are quick and can defend those because if you have a slow linebacker like i used to have mike singletary who was like awesome for like at the beginning like he was fine but if you have someone who's really really slow you're gonna get burned on all those they're just gonna lob it over your head and things are gonna be ugly and it's just not overall it's not a good thing here i have terrell suggs um coming off the edge i should leave him mike singletary still i didn't even realize singletary was still playing i honestly didn't even know he was still on the team i thought he had washed up completely off the face of the earth come on good hit boom there we go oh my gosh that might have been the biggest hit i've ever seen that literally may have just been the biggest hit i've ever seen he just ended his career like that quarterback will never play football again i think i just ended a guy's career okay, so what i've noticed is adam thielen seems like and i definitely just want to give mario time because these three receivers are talented enough together that they can make things happen corner strike again he's really not doing a great job at guarding the corner strike it seems like it's getting open pretty well consistently with the zone that he's playing so i definitely want to take advantage of that mariota is having an amazing first game like this has been incredible i kind of at this point want to see if we can go and ah dang it he's gonna keep some time try and get to the left side of the pocket get walker on a drag just in case and see what we can do here i'd love to hit fred bolitnikov back of the end zone what a throw mariota eric Berry, get up here look around look around he's coming right over the middle he's gonna come right over the middle we almost know that for sure now he's panicking don't throw it okay good decision by him at least 
not to throw it. I thought for a second that he was going to throw that ball. We had everyone locked up, which proves the man coverage and the addition of guys like Jalen Ramsey on this team on the outside is really good because that's someone who can go and just lock up his top receiver, and that's really, really awesome. Great pressure from Terrell Suggs, too. The boys are the pass rush is real right now, which is something that I haven't had because Daquan Jones and those guys were not good pass rushers. Like, I went way too long with having just completely garbage defensive ends, but now that I actually have decent ones, it feels pretty good. And you definitely notice a really, really drastic defense when you have something like that. 14-7, um, to 7, he's got third down and 21 right now. I'm going to zone, or I'm going to inside shade all my guys um, just to try and, like, make sure that nothing too bad happens let me see taylor that, that looks like this almost looks like a screen but it's also a post taylor i have him locked up they're gonna throw it over the middle mike singletary and what on earth mike singletary oh, i'm sending i'm sending the blitz send, send the blitz let's go ed reed perfectly executed blitz try and hurdle somebody oh my gosh i see a pick is also a great position to try and get the turn i'm only playing one game today guys I, I don't have time i gotta i got one game to try and wow you guys for this video um, 14 to 7 Mariota has been amazing. I kind of want to roll in the pocket and see if I can get Bolitnikov again because though he might not be my favorite receiver in the world, he has been really, really good this game to the point where it's like it's been quite exciting. No way, Mariota. Oh, uh, that was almost a high move. Anything open in the seams. Go, Mariota. Good job. Good job. You got a wide open situation. Try and hurdle. Oh my. Yo, know, four verts. Four verts. Four verts, we got that. What on earth is this dude doing? Okay, set yourself up for a potential hurdle. Oh, okay, we went backwards. It seems like he has that first kind of stuff, and he's using the D lineman a lot, which is never really that good of a decision. Oda Beckham Jr. over the middle. Absolute dot from Marcus Mariota. He's going to do the whip in the end zone. That is what I like to see. Okay, 21 to 7 now. Got to start looking to get that potential hurdle to get that extra upgrade. There we go. Set somebody up. Set, I know Derek's got a little bit. Let's go! We're getting an upgrade, boy. We are getting an upgrade. That is awesome. Okay, so after the game, we get to choose a new player to get. We completed the upgrade challenge. That was awesome, actually. I, I knew that we were going to be on the verge here just by reading the defenses. Watch his linebacker. So his linebacker is not going to queue in on Adam Thielen whatsoever because you just never really expect the secondary dig to be the one that's going to get you. You just don't think the second one. You think the first one. You don't think that someone might... You don't assume that someone just knows automatically what to do here. I'm going to look Adam Thielen again on the underneath kind of just man beater. Beautiful touchdown. 28 to 7. Now we scored in two plays plus we got our hurdle. Please don't quit. For my bonus, I don't want to make it like the biggest because that'll just downplay like the challenge and stuff. I do, however, want to go get this Jarrell Casey card, 91 overall. He's a Titan as well. I've wanted him for a while. Plus, I don't think anyone would ever have suggested him. He'll fit great at the right end position, especially in my scheme. He's going to be really good with his power moves, stuff like that, getting to the quarterback. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kind of a different thing. Uh, but yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a ton of fun to make, and I'll see you guys. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to the review. So, got to be really, really quick. There is no forfeit in this particular video. There is a challenge, and there is players to be won, but I'm not doing a forfeit. I still have the ice bath challenge to do, and I still also have the gross smoothie challenge, which I am going to try and push for. If this video gets 2,000 likes, though, I will for sure have it up tomorrow. I will do everything I can. That'll be my motivation. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys. I hope everyone had a great Christmas. This is going to be a super fun video. Uh, there's some really cool challenges. There's a cool in-game challenge. And there's a player that I'm really, really excited to get. Plus some new additions on the team. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoy.